And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, as always, today we are going to be going over all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours, that includes our title, yes, have Rangers agreed yet another deal, we'll discuss that a bit later on, but let's start off with this one, Rangers new boy Hefty has been back to achieve great things in his career, One one former Rangers player has even gone as far to tip the left back to turn out for Real Madrid one day. Dalcio, who was signed by Pedro Canacia in 2017, reckons the Brazilian could well play in the famous white shirts of the 15 times Champions League winners. The Portuguese winger played with Hefti at Apoel last season, so he knows all about his capabilities, both attacking and defending. Hefti was Felipe Clement's first signing of the summer, with a very busy summer expected in the transfer world window at Ibrox and Dalcio reckons his old teammate will provide similar qualities to James Tavernier on the left. He told the Sunday Mail, Jefty, a very good player, really offensive. He'll bring speed and goals to Rangers and he's young too so he'll learn. He's still developing and Rangers can bring the best out of him. He will improve at Ibrox. He's a good player. Now he has so much potential to get better. He came to Applewell as a young player and was thrown straight into a top league. Of course, for the first time in three or four months, it was difficult for him as he adapted. But after that, he was amazing left back for us. Rangers aren't playing a lot of money for Hefty now, but in the future, he can be anything that he wants to be. Everything depends on the player himself. If he works hard and wants it, and everyone said this about him at Abwell, he could play for Real Madrid in the future. That's the potential he has, and I'm sure you'll be able to see that in Scotland. He's too fast. It's unbelievable. He's been really good left and likes to take corners and free kicks. He's just like James Tavernier at Rangers now. Hefty likes to get into the box and score even from left back. I've told him he must learn more about the defensive side of the game, and he'll need that because the Scottish League is so strong. You have to be focus there to defend as well as the attack. So uh, an interesting one there coming from a, a former Rangers player uh, but basically stating um, how good our new left back is. So um, yeah high praise from that one. I did like the last bit there with the regards he didn't know how to defend but um, again um, <laughs> we just we have a young James Tavernier on the left hand side. But yeah looks good. Uh, rave reviews about him and to be fair there's not much risk involved in it to be fair. Um, only £500,000 now, moving on to some other potential incomings, guys, today. Well, transfer news today. We discussed uh, Robbie McCrory. It did seem as though he was going out of the door. And to be fair, you know, there has been a few links to different players, and we're going to bring them to you here. Um, after this, we'll, of course, discuss the third deal that we have set to agree. But links between Rangers and Damien Garcia have intensified after the manager of his current club called his desire into question. Yes, last week, Rangers were credited with an interest in the midfielder from Europe. Uruguay. He currently plays in the top flight of his homeland for Panaral, but is out of contract at the end of the year. It is believed that Panaral want to keep a hold of their top talent until then. However, Garcia is keen on a move to Europe sooner rather than later. He's made 17 appearances so far this term in his homeland, and judging by boss Diego Orgui's recent comments, it remains to be seen how many more he'll rack up. Talks over a new deal have stalled, and the player's agent, Edgardo Lazibala, has gone public to complain uh, that Garcia's weekly wage barely covers the rent tensions escalate with Panerol. According to the outlet, the squad is going to be this with some modifications. I am very happy with them. They are the ones who have achieved all of this. Some players may come, but the most important ones are the ones that are here. Asked about Garcia's situation specifically, he responded, players of his stature are always important, but he must have the desire to stay. That can be decisive. Philippe Clement has already dipped into the South American market by signing Hefty from Brazil. Colombian winger Oscar Cortes has agreed also to join Rangers on a season-long loan with an obligation to buy. And Thomas Goldamas has been heavily linked with the switch to Glasgow too. So again, look, the South American revolution looks like it's continuing. Another player that we're currently linked to uh, wants to move out of South America. And I don't mind going for these South American players. Um, again, they, uh, I do, but yeah, they're, they're quite tough, some of them. They are quite tough sometimes. Um, I only 
worries is going to be when it's in January time and the uh, the uh, it's going to be super cold. Um, but hopefully they'll they'll sort of go over it. To be fair, it can be cold uh, in South America as well in certain places. But yeah, liking these South American players joining um, potentially joining as well. And this is the latest one that could potentially join. However, it does seem as though signing number three could be done. Yes, Rangers are set to sign highly rated Hearts Academy prospect Alfie Hutchinson. Yes, the 15 year old forward has decided to join. Rangers from Hearts. Hearts standards say he will move along the M8 to join the academy of Philippe Clement's club. The teenager is viewed as one of the top talents in Scotland as he has attracted plenty of interest from teams in the English Premier League. The Hearts uh, will be due a compensation payment from Rangers due to Hutchinson's age. He's impressed while playing for Scotland's under-16, scoring against Italy and Portugal in recent times. So again, it does look like a deal is done this time for Alfie Hutchinson. I'm a player that has been wanted, of course, down in the Premier League. And to be fair, we've been keeping you up to date with regards to these younger players. It wasn't so long ago for Richard Romano who was actually tweeting out about one. So, uh, again, hopefully he does well uh, within the ranks and uh, hopefully we'll start to see him to pop up. But um, another deal uh, agreed by Rangers. And, of course, whilst we are doing a lot of impetus on the first team and the playing squad so far this season, you know, you've always got to look towards the future and always build out your academy because they are income generated. Um, and to be fair, we've had a couple of players make it to the to the first team, but most of them do go under the radar. But certainly for a club of Rangers stature in our country, we should be hoovering up all of the top talent, not allowing them to go down south to the English Premier League. What we should be doing is the one, the fishing net, and be like, well, we want him, we want him, we want him. Let's have a look at him. He's good, he's good, he's shit, and then get rid of all um, if they're not good enough, and then keep the ones and promote the best Scottish talent up into our team. You know, look at the Scotland team that what they're doing now. So. There are some really good players out there and we've just always got to find these young talents and hopefully they can progress at our football club. Um, but yeah, Alfie Hutchinson's the latest one to agree a deal. So yeah, we aren't wasting any time with regards to the first team nor the youth side. So uh, yeah, making uh, it's going to be a signing blizzard. Um, and a very busy one at that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all I've really got for you guys today in terms of actual transfer news and all the rest of it. But hopefully, of course, uh, we do get a few more things that start, start to emerge. As I say, there has been, you know, links to... Thomas Galdames, there's been a player, Damien Garster, as I said, these kind of loose links. Um, also, uh, the boy from Arsenal, the right back. But until we get real, real strong links, um, we can discuss, I'll uh, do more of a detailed dive on those said players. But that, guys, brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, we do have Rangers t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description, or, of course, going to rfcclothing.com thank you guys and i'll see you next time take care